Hey everyone, my name is Elise Shurman and I work at the Santa Cruz Museum of Natural History. Today I'm going to be showing you how to look for herps outside. But before we do that, I'm going to talk about what a herp is. So the word herp comes from herpetology, which is the study of reptiles and amphibians. So those are the types of creatures that we're going to be looking for outside today. Are you ready? Let's go. Once you go outside, you're going to want to look for a log or rock that is small enough for you to flip over. You're going to want to flip it over very slowly and make sure that the log is between you and whatever is underneath it. Whoa, I found some slender salamanders underneath this log. Before I replace the log, I want to make sure to move the slender salamanders out of the way. You can use a stick or a leaf to do this, but you want to make sure you are doing it very gently because the salamanders are fragile creatures. Once you have moved the creatures to the side, you can slowly replace the log. It is important to replace it exactly how you found it so you don't destroy their home. I hope you have fun and have a safe time the next time you go looking for herbs.